Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. Um, this video is going to be a little late. <laughs> um, actually, it's already late. I normally film on Thursdays and upload, you know, Thursday night while I'm in bed and schedule it to release Friday mornings at 7. But it is sa uh, Saturday. No, it's not Saturday. It is Friday right now. And it is like 2 in the afternoon, I think. That I'm filming this and I'm going to edit it real quick, get it uploaded and all that. So it should be out later today. Uh, I'm sorry, a notification just popped up on my phone. Um, hey, someone just uploaded some pictures to the Facebook group. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome back to everybody. Welcome back to all the, uh, original subscribers and welcome to all the new people. There's been quite a few, especially since I released my giveaway video finally. Um, I'm breathing really heavy all of a sudden. I was just fine before I started filming. I was just talking, I guess. Alright, this is going to be kind of a boring video because, um... Well, one, I only have one finished object, and it's tiny. It's an octopus. Because I haven't really been crocheting this week, and it's it's not from, like, lack of interest of it. It's just I've been doing some serious, um, like, spring cleaning, I guess. Uh, when Jesse was at my mom's for a couple of days, I went through, like, the entire house and was cleaning everything and going through, and I ended up loading up. We have a SUV. It's like a, it's a Dodge uh, Journey. And I filled the entire trunk space of it up, like from floor to ceiling, and a lot of the back seat with stuff to take to our local charity shop, which um, is a third story, you know. It, some of the money they make off of stuff goes to the senior center. <laughs> like, it, pay, it helps pay for their activities and stuff, which is cool. But, um, yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and hop in. I have crushed it a little bit, but not really a lot. And I'm hoping this next week will be better for just, you know, blah, blah, blah. Not just for, like, content and video, but for, like, my sanity. I mean, when I don't get to crochet a lot, I miss it. And it, it almost makes me feel like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like I'm not doing me 100%, you know. It's like I'm not getting a chance to be me. Does that make sense? You know, crocheting is a huge part of my life. So when I, I'm really busy or something happens and I don't get to crochet, it's like... It affects me. <laughs> I need that time, you know, to uh, separate my life from reality. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and hop in and start. <laughs> oh, I will mention, you know, the giveaway video is up. If you've not seen it, I will link it in the iCard, which I think is on this side. No, this side. It, yeah, it pops up over here. <laughs> and, um,. It's running until April 12th, so you have a while, you have a couple weeks to um, enter it and share it so that any of your yarny friends can, you know, have a chance to win too. And yeah, now we'll start. <laughs> oh, there's also going to be a crochet and chat video coming out either Saturday or Sunday. I already filmed it and edited it and all that's actually, I can't remember if I already uploaded it. But um, I filmed it when Jesse was gone, I think, or sleeping. And in that video, I'm working on this octopus, <laughs> and it's made with a Premier cot or cotton. It's not cotton; it's acrylic. A Premier yarn. It's like a real rough yarn. I don't really like it, so it's only good for amigurumis, I think. It pulled really neatly. I think the head did. It's like swirly stripes. The top is like mixed up. There's something confetti, I think, but I can't remember. That's just a little octopus. This is the only thing I really got to finish this week. Other than technically, I did finish this. <laughs> kind of. I did finish one of the white ones. I thought I had them all finished, but when I was putting them on the form, I realized I was one white short. And I'm pretty sure I made it. I'm thinking Jesse probably did something with it because he's, you know, he does stuff. <laughs> so it is all together on there. I just have to fit, deal with the ends. <laughs> Weave them in and uh, cut them. And then I gotta get some beads or something, star shaped beads to put there. So that's technically done because it's done crocheted. I just haven't done putting it together. But back to the octopus. <laughs> Can I sidetrack a lot? The octopus is called Mini Octopus by Sarah Hearn. It's a free pattern. I'm pretty sure it's a PDF. I think it's a downloadable PDF. I can't remember. Its link will be below. It's free. Did I ever say that? I made mine with an A, oh, not an A, <laughs> and an F hook because that's like my favorite size. It's like the best size for me. I think the pattern calls for an E, but um, I always use F for amigurumis unless, yeah, I pretty much always use F. 
<laughs> I just, I love that elf hook. It's my favorite hook. I think he turned out super cute. I think I already made one in this colorway. I can't remember. My box is over there, so i got to put a price tag on him and stick him in the box. That's for the um, Earth Day Market that's coming up. I got enough eyeballs of this size to make another little octopus. I'm going to go ahead and do that in some color. I think I got a purple color in here. I already made one in that color. Oh yeah, I thought about making one in this. I might start the head and see where the eyes will end up, what color, and make one in that. Or a purple or something, I don't know. Just anything. And uh, it's in my Halloween candy bag that I made. Um, I just remembered I was supposed to take a picture of some material and show it to someone on the Facebook group, and I forgot to do that. I gotta do that after this. Every time Jesse sees this bag, he says chocolate, chocolate. I think he thinks I keep chocolate in it, but I don't. I keep yarn in it. <laughs> that back there, my tote. This is my new, my new tote. It's not a new tote. When I was spring cleaning, I had a bunch of Christmas ornaments in this, and I donated a lot of them, so I was able to put the other ones in a, another container. So this is now where I keep my whips and then the yarn that I'm using for whips that's in my bags. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move on to whips now. Oh, this right here I'll real quick say. I'll go ahead and link it below if I can remember. It's the American, American Flag Reef, I think. I can't remember who made it. It is a paid-for pattern on Ravelry, but if you go to her website through Ravelry, it's, it's free. Not PDF. It's just written out. So. And she's got a few... Um, of these patterns. This red's not that crazy color. I think it's cherry red. But they're like little swirly things. Not swirly. Wavy things. You make them in strips and you just wrap it around the form. It says to use a 20 or an 18 inch form. This is a 12 inch one. And it fit on there really good. I think if I put it on a 20 inch it would have been not enough. But that's just with my gauge. You just have to like judge for yourself. <laughs> but I'll link that below if I can remember too. So that's all my finished objects. So just a little octopus. Um, so whips. I got to work on some whips, and one of them's attached to that purple ball. <laughs> this is Miss Super Snappy by Heidi Yates. It is a paper pattern, but like I always say, there's usually a coupon code that she uses out. I've been using that H hook so far. I don't know if there's more hooks that are needed. Get the parts out that are finished. These are her arms. This would be like her shoulder part, and those are her hands. <laughs> That's made with, I love this yarn, uh, light peach. This is her body. This would be the front of her body. It's made in like a big panel. This would be like her underwear, <laughs> her body, her head, her hair. I think these are supposed to get cut later on. They're just loop stitches. Back of her head, her back, and her butt. <laughs> And then, you know, it's one big panel. I started down here and worked all the way up this way. And then you, eventually, when you get done, you fold it in half and sew it. And attach the arms and legs. And then you make her clothes. And I started working on her feet. I feel like her foot is huge. But I got one shoe done. Almost done, you know. I think it's got a part right here where I go back and attach again. I'm working on her sock. It's really blown out. It's amethyst. And, um... So I'm working on her feet, <laughs> one of them. That's what's attached to my tote back there. And all that back there. Uh, yeah, I'm making that for the county fair coming up this September. I did not realize Miss Super Snappy was gonna be as large as she's turning out to be. Um, and she seems to be taking forever. And I don't know if it's just the color changes because sometimes when I have projects that have a lot of color changes they take me longer because of Jessie you know I can't carry around a bunch of different yarns and with her like you know one of the yarns attached to her is like a jumbo size red heart so I only work on her when Jessie's not here and this last time that he was gone at my mom's I didn't crochet at all except for this little octopus um, because I was cleaning like a lot and I record cleaned I needed it a lot and I wanted to declutter because clutter gives me anxiety. <laughs> and okay, that's Miss Super Snappy. She's living in my cat bag. And what's next? Snowman Square. This is gonna be the snowman yeah. Snowman Square for the Christmas Christmas Pixel 
Afghan <laughs> crochet along that Terry is hosting at Your Enjoy Podcast on her Facebook group. It'll be on to below. <laughs> oh gosh. I just barely started working on this. I lied. I did work on this when he was gone. But only, no, he, he was here. He was napping. That's why I, I put it down and then uh, I picked it back up. My hook fell out. I just barely started on it too. Okay, where is this black coming from? This is actually like this, I think. This is the background color, which on the picture it is blue, I think. I'm using red. <laughs> and then this is the beginning of his scarf. And then I'm about to start the snowman's face and scarf continue on. I'm going to try to, this is really blown out. This is cherry, so it's like a dark red. Red Heart Super Sailor Cherry. And um, that's all I got. <laughs> it's a black yard somewhere. So that's for his button noses and stuff not his nose his mouth <laughs> um i just barely started out like i sat in there there the law sitting down doing that while he was napping and then when he woke up i put it up and i just haven't messed with it since oh, okay that's pretty much all that i've done with that i wanted to try to get that done before this weekend because it's march's square and i wanted to get it done in march but i don't think i'm going to be able to unless i go ham on it tomorrow and get it done which i'm probably not going to do because i have easter plans tomorrow Oh, that's alright. I'll just work on it as much as I can in the beginning of April and then start April Square, which I think is the sled. I'm not really sure, but I think it's the sled. I'm making all the squares on the blanket uh, on the picture that Tara keeps showing, except the gingerbread man. I'm going to not make him, but I'm going to make the penguin face that's like an alternate square that is available. She's got a few alternate squares and some that other people made to add to it themselves. And I think the penguin face is one that, uh, you know, like a, what is it called? <laughs> not her, not Sarah Zimmerman, but like, you know, like someone like me made it to add to their blanket. So I'm going to use it, the penguin in my blanket because I love penguins. And I don't really like that gingerbread square. Because it's his whole body. It's, I feel like it should be just his face because it's Santa's face, a snowman's face, an elf's face. It's everything else's face, and then it's a whole ginger bread, man. But whatever. <laughs> um, my next whip is the Ruffle Sleeve Cardigan by Ashley Kaiser. I'm making it with a J-hook, and I love this yarn, Sun Gold or something like that. I have not touched that since that Sunday that I started it on a crochet and chat video, and then got sick right after that. I just haven't felt like messing with it, so it's still sitting in its bag in the box. I haven't even touched it, so I'm not even going to show it. And then... The last whip that I'm working on, because I haven't picked another grease square up yet, is my giant octopus for Jesse's birthday. <laughs> I started it, I think Monday before he left. This is the top of his head. <laughs> it's so squishy. I've never used Bernat um, blanket before. My sister bought me this yarn. She bought me the big size, uh, a jumbo ball of dark gray. A red color and like a yellowy white color and that's almost enough to do the whole octopus with I only had to buy four more skeins of the little one so it's like two more of these I guess of the gray to finish it so I'm gonna make this it's like a giant it looks like an army hat <laughs> but uh, it's so squishy uh, the only thing I am changing so far is the pattern that was gifted to me by Angela and Leah I always feel like I forget to say her name right like it's Angelia it's got an A on the end of it right yeah I'm always afraid it's like Angela and I'm saying it wrong I'm sorry <laughs> she does have a channel but she uh, she hasn't been making any videos since she's she, we were talking the other day yesterday and she's gonna start making videos again soon it's just she's making gifts for people so she's waiting till that's over with anyways the pattern calls for um, an L hook and I don't have an L hook so I'm using a K so, the size might be slightly altered, but only a little bit. But it's still going to be huge, because this is the top of its head. I just finished increasing. So, I have to do a few, like, normal rounds and then start decreasing. So, it's, its head's going to be this big. <laughs> or, its head body. You know, it's the octopus. So, it's its head body. I'll pop up a picture if I can remember of what it's going to look like. Kind of. Except, on the picture, the underneath of the tentacles, that is a blue color. Is going to be the red color that I have 
outlined in the yellowy white color and its eyes are going to be the yellowy white color with the red pupils. If that's not too creepy looking, I might make gray pupils. I'm just going to try to use the yarn that I have instead of buying a ball of black and white just to make the eyes with because I don't have a ton left over but not enough to do anything with. Because it's blanket yarn, you need a lot of it to make something. Does that make sense? So I'm going to try to use the colors I have. And worst case scenario, I can just use some worsted weight white and black and just hold a few strands together. I don't remember what size this is. Is this five? So if this is size five, I can just hold a couple of strands of white and black together and make eyes that way. I might do that. I don't know. But yeah, it's coming along really fast. I actually did some of this while Jesse was here. But I'm wanting to try to get this done by his birthday, which his birthday is May 1st. May Day. Um, so I got a month to finish this. And I'm probably going to have to buy some stuffing for it because I have a bag, but probably not enough for this thing. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to be out of stuffing after I make it because I love making it in my groomies. And I want to be able to make more randomly. But yeah. He's not in a project bag because I know he's going to be too big for it. So I'm, I'm basically just carrying him around as a football head. <laughs> it's a helmet. It looks kind of like a helmet. That's all my whips, I think. Um, we got to finish that eventually. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, I haven't done much crochet. Uh, the octopus, I made the head, most of the head while I was filming the crocheting chat, you'll see that. And then I made the tentacles uh, while I was babysitting and Jesse was there. <laughs> so it was a little, it took a long time to make the tentacles because I was dealing with the kids. And then I was working on this a lot while Jesse was here but other than that I haven't been crocheting much at all. I'm hoping to um, go ham on the snowman square get it done as quickly as possible in the next couple of weeks and Miss Super Snappy I want to finish her in April like that's my goal to finish her in April and start working on some more projects for the fair and I gotta finish the octopus in April because it's just it was gonna be for Jesse's birthday I got him some more stuff for his birthday. Some of the party stuff is actually on the bed in the back. And we're doing a construction theme because he's really into bulldozers and excavators and stuff like that. And um, so I'm, we're, um, I'm at, my mind's bouncing around. I got orange and black and yellow plates and forks and napkins and tablecloth. And stuff. I'll show you. You guys interested? Some of you might be. That's all the crochet stuff. If you're not interested, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. But if you want to watch, see this stuff real fast, I'll show you because it's right here. Might as well. It's in a bag, so it's gonna make noise. <laughs> okay. First, I got some of these. These are the things you put cakes on. Because I'm gonna make his cake. I'll pop a picture of it. It's gonna look like dirt with a little uh, bulldozer on it making a tube making paper noises That's okay. I just got yellow napkins it's it's a bright yellow <laughs> and a yellow tablecloth put over the table that will have the cake and stuff on it and then we got orange plates Sorry for noise. Black forks for the cake because we're probably gonna make hamburgers and hot dogs, so we won't need utensils for the food other than cake. And the last thing I got this week, or there's two more things. I got orange, yellow, and black streamer to like twist together and hang around. And then I plan on buying orange, yellow, or not orange. Black, yellow, and gray balloons, 12 of them. And then I'm going to go Dollar Tree because I've seen them and they got these little traffic cones. I'm going to like poke a hole through the top and put four balloons in each. Um, to be like little, you know, to set around on the table and stuff. Because it looks traffic, you know, the construction colors. And then I also got this for his cake. I'm going to put the bulldozer. Wait, here's this one. Oh yeah, because that's got a back hole on it. I'm going to use the bulldozer on top of the cake that looks like it's scooping the two. And then the excavator and dump truck and all that. I'm just going to put around it. And then, you know, you can have toys after the cake is cut and all that. That was only 
$5. I thought that was pretty good for a cat toy. So, yeah. And uh, like I said, I'll pop up a picture real fast of the cake that I want to make. I want to make his cake every year. I made his first birthday cake. Both of them. I made the fish shaped one for everybody. And then I made his little smash cake, which he was not into. But I want to try to make a tradition of that. Of making his cake every year. And for the last two years, I've made Devin's cake homemade like from scratch. Jesse's I do use like cake mixes because it's easier. But um, Devin's cake, cake, two years ago I made him... Yeah, I was trying to think maybe I made him three, but no, I made him two. Two years ago, I made him a German chocolate cake, 100% from scratch. The cake mix, the ice and everything was from scratch. And um, last year, yeah, because it was here, I made a carrot cake, 100% from scratch. And this year, I think he said he wanted the carrot cake in, or maybe the German chocolate, I don't know. But um, I like making stuff like that from scratch, but I'm not really a big baker. I'd rather not bake all the time. I'd rather not cook at all. Like, cooking is fun, but I hate, like, having to cook. Like, if I was rich, I would totally have a shelf, and then I would cook when I wanted to, but then have that person just feed us. <laughs> because I do like cooking, I just don't like having to cook. Like, every single day, multiple times a day, it sucks. <laughs> but yeah, that's just most of his birthday stuff. I think the balloons, oh, and the pin pinata. We're going to order a pinata that is, it looks like a dump truck and get candy for it. Because that's the tradition that we want to keep, which is having a pinata. But I think that's everything for his birthday, other than his gift, which we're getting him the membership to the aquarium. So we can go anytime we want all year. And we're going to renew that every year on his birthday. And we were thinking about for Christmas, getting the membership to the zoo, the probably... Probably the Nashville Zoo because it's the closest one to us. I love the Knoxville Zoo, but it's a three-hour drive. That's a really long drive. But, um, cause, I mean, that's like six hours going there and back plus being there. So, we'll probably do the Nashville Zoo membership because we love the Nashville Zoo. It's, it's, I've heard a lot of bad things about it before, but I really like it. And um, then every year for Christmas, we can renew that. And then every year, we can go to the zoo or the aquarium whenever we want because we have memberships to it. So I think that would be cool, yeah. Because <laughs> we are definitely the kind of people who would rather buy um, experiences instead of toys and stuff. Because I know that my family and Devin's family will always buy Jesse toys for Christmas and his birthday. And, you know, as he gets older, they'll buy him age-appropriate gifts. But we always want to give him experiences. You know, we want to go on trips with him and give him things that last longer than a toy, if that makes sense. Because that's the kind of stuff that we like doing. You know, we don't go out for each other's birthdays and Christmas and stuff and buy each other a lot of gifts. We do stuff together. We go on road trips and stuff and I like that better because it's, it's memories that I can have forever and that's why I'm huge at pictures. I take pictures constantly. I want these memories when I'm older and that's another reason that I'd like to get into scrapbooking more. I just suck at doing it. But I just, I love memories and I love having pictures. So yeah, that's totally sidetracked. So if you've watched this far, um, Thank you, I guess. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because the boys are in the living room and I'm going to spend time with them. Devin's off today because um, it's Good Friday. And uh, we got an egg hunt to do tomorrow and one on Sunday. So that's going to be fun because last year Jesse wasn't even one yet. He was 11 months old and he hadn't learned to walk yet without holding on to someone. So he couldn't really hunt eggs. He was like crawling around and picking them up, but he didn't get the idea of, you know, collecting them. And I'm hoping this year that he'll understand to collect them. Because <laughs> if he doesn't, his cousin is going to get them all. Or Catherine. Because <laughs> the egg hunt we're doing tomorrow is at my mom's with Jesse and Ben, my sister's son. And then Sunday we're doing it at Devin's dad's with Jesse and Catherine. So I hope Jesse's going to get a lot of eggs either way. And um, I know last year his grandparents were leading him to the, the prize eggs. <laughs> So if they do that again this year, he'll, you know, he'll get stuff. <laughs> I hope it clears up. It's been raining a lot. It's, it rained all day yesterday. And it's been raining a lot today. It's, the sun's just now coming out. And it's like 2 or 3 in the evening. It's, it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. So we shall see. I hope everybody has a good Easter. Because I will see you again tomorrow. But it'll be past me. <laughs> and I didn't think to say that. Um, even if you don't celebrate it as a religious holiday, it's still a good family holiday. Um, so I hope you guys all have fun. And... You know, eat a lot of chocolate and all that fun stuff. And ham, I guess, is what people eat. And lamb. I've always wanted to try lamb. But it's really expensive where I live. 
it's like a delicacy or something. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and go hang out with my boys. And I'll see you guys for sure next Friday or Saturday <laughs> in the next crochet talk. But probably um, sooner if I do a crochet chat video. I really enjoy those. And um, yeah. Bye guys.